I've logged in to my Bill Solaris virtual instance. I've logged in as my user Bill. And what I've now at, and you'll notice, here's Bill, at the Bill Solaris server. I'm in as a generic user. That's indicated by the dollar sign. Now, as a generic user, you don't have a lot of privileges or availability to do a lot of certain root function or administrative functions. In order to do that, I have to be as a user and I have to be able to log in. Please note last time, you sometimes will get this message that after you log in, that someone tried to log in and there was some error message or anything else. Let's ignore that for now here. I'm just going to press enter right now. So now I'm going to change over to the root user. I'm going to type in su space rot. In other words, I'm going to undertake the root role. Press enter and they ask me for a password, I type in my password. Type in my password, note the password will not be shown. I press enter, and you'll notice that this time it succeeded. In other words, May 10th, uh, which is when I did this, it's SU root succeeded for Bill. Bill has the option to be able to change root, so therefore it succeeded. I'm now logged in as root at Bill Solaris. The differences between a generic user, note the dollar sign, root user, number sign. Okay, so I'm in as a root user. I can do perform root functions. For now, let's just find out where we are. Type in PWD, shows you where we are. I'm in export slash home. I'm still in Bill's home folder because it's still Bill doing the work, but he's doing the work as administrator. And if I do LS, you'll notice there's nothing there because it doesn't give any answers here. LS dash L, it says, ah, uh, you know what? I typed it in wrong. LS space dash L. And it says there's zero files in here. Let's say I perform my functions as a root user, and now I want to exit as a root user here. So if I want to exit from being a root user, I just type in the word exit, press enter, and now I'm back to generic bill.